Hello, I'm Brad Husted, and welcome to Ask an Expert. So let's pull up our question right now and see what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about slave armies. And the question is, were slave armies used? Were slave armies ever used in history? If so, by who and when? This commentary also talks about how the concept seems strange and that it could possibly cause problems. Why don't you take time now to pause your video, read this question and the commentary in full, and then decide for yourselves. Were slave armies used? Were slave armies ever used in history? If so, by who and when? And did it cause any instability in society? All right, so how did you answer? For those of you that want to see what the answer is, yes, yes, slave armies were used. The Janissaries and Mamluks are a couple examples of slave soldiers. They were used by the Ottoman Turks and Muslim kingdoms, especially Egypt, from the mid-9th century to about 1650. These warrior slaves acquired a degree of status and special privileges that allowed them to control power inside the kingdoms and empires for which they fought. This did cause instability inside these kingdoms. Let's proceed a little further. Let's talk about the Janissaries. The Janissaries were warrior slaves used by the Ottoman Empire from the 1380s until 1648. They were recruited by kidnapping and coercion. This was called the Diversame system. The Ottomans would kidnap or force young Christian boys from the ages of 6 to 14 in the Balkans into their ranks. This included Serbs, Greeks, Bulgarians, and Albanians. Armenians were also kidnapped or forced into exile. They were always Christians, never Muslims. Unlike typical slaves, they were paid salaries and served as bodyguards to the Ottoman Sultan. But there were restrictions. They were not allowed to marry. They could not engage in trained, trade, and they served under strict discipline. But by 1600, the Janissaries had become very, very aware of their own importance and position. They actually dominated the Ottoman government. They mutinied and revolted a number of times, dictated government policy at times, deposed sultans, and hindered efforts to modernize the Ottoman government. If you take a look at this picture here of Janissaries, you will notice that they're holding a bow. Originally, they were archers. Later, they became some of the first soldiers in the world to use firearms. And if we take a look at this map, we can see the Ottoman Empire. And the Janissaries were re recruited from the regions in circles. That includes the Balkans, and the smaller circle that you see is roughly where Armenia is. And the Janissaries actually helped expand the Ottoman Empire so that, well, it became this big blob on the map here. Let's talk about the Mamluks. The Mamluks were soldier slaves used by Muslim sultanates and caliphates, such as the Abbasids, the Boyids, and the Fatimids. Think Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Iraq. The slaves originally came from Turkey the Balkans, and North Africa. Later, a large number of them hailed from Circassia, which is in the Caucasus region. Italians were often the middlemen that purchased and then sold the slaves to Egypt and the Arabs. Uh, Venice is especially at fault here. 
The slave trade started in the mid 9th century, and they were not typical slaves, obviously. They ended up forming the bulk of Egyptian armies. So most of the Egyptian army were Mamluks. They began as enlisted slaves, but later they could be manumitted or set free. So they would be manumitted or set free if they held promise, and then they would become commanders of other Mamluk contingents. And so this is what would happen. You would have Mamluk slaves as soldiers and a former Mamluk as their boss, as their commander. And that commander would enjoy the privileges of being a commander and then eventually be deposed by, yes, you guessed it, another Mamluk who was rising up in the ranks. And eventually, in 1250, the Mamluks got rid of the Egyptian sultan and they placed a former slave on the throne. And this started the Mamluk Sultanate. The sultan started to serve at the leisure of the Mamluk slaves who tolerated him as a necessary arbiter. If they did not like the sultan, the Mamluks simply deposed him. The Mamluk Sultanate was later conquered by the Ottoman Empire in 1517. And so when the Ottomans fought the Mamluks in 1517, yes, you would have had slaves fighting slaves. Let's take a look at this map, and you can see the Fatimid, the Boyud, and the Byzantine Empire. The Fatimid Empire is in the lower left-hand corner here in the red rectangle box in that orangish color, and that is roughly Egypt. Where Boyuds and then Baghdad, that's Iraq, and that would actually be more among the location of where the Abbasid Empire is, and where it says, and where you can see the Boyuds in the lower right-hand corner, that is Iran. And so that's where, that's the empires that use the Mamluks. The big old circle of the Byzantine Empire is where Turkey is. And the Arabs and the Egyptians and the Iraqis and the Iranians would fight the Byzantine Empire. And when they made raids, they would come back with Christians living in Turkey and then use them as slaves to then fight the Byzantine Empire again. The smaller circle at the on the map here is Circassia, which is in the North Caucasus region. So again, slave armies have been used by states in the past. The Janu Janissaries and the Mamluks are a couple of examples of slave soldiers. There's more. It wasn't just Janissaries and Mamluks, but they're the most common examples and the best known. They were used by the Ottoman Turks and Muslim kingdoms, especially Egypt, from the mid-9th century to about 1650. These warrior slaves acquired a degree of status and special privileges that allowed them to control power inside the kingdoms and empires for which they fought. This did cause a degree of instability inside these kingdoms and would even allow them to overturn and depose sultans. Can you imagine this today if the president of the United States was overthrown and replaced by another president who was a former slave? Yes, I would call that a degree of instability. Thank you for watching. Ask an expert. <music>